everyone. Welcome back to the final episode of our North Kyoto adventure. Our first stop was Omino Nakamichi Marine World. This beautiful jockey shell shaped aquarium is home to 2,000 marine creatures from 450 species. As there were many students coming here for a field trip, we decided to first stop at Marine Theater. We enjoyed watching the dolphins jump up amazingly high and the humorous performance of sea lions with the blue sea of Hakata Bay in the background. The heated seas were a welcome addition on a shimmy day, making the show even more enjoyable. the show, we explored the aquarium's different zones. Let's dive into the highlights. We started on the third floor in the nearby waters of Kyushu Zone. Here, we saw creatures from the East China Sea, the Pacific Ocean, the Sea of Japan, and the Seto Inland Sea. Yeah. Oh. 
Yes. Iya. Mi palai je le. The Kyushu Water Forest Zone transported us to the heart of the Kyushu freshwater ecosystem, highlighting the journey of the water from mountains to rivers and oceans. We learned about the unique biodiversity of these environments. Say hi, Salamander. The open ocean zone was a must-see with a massive aquarium that recreated the warm sea of southern Kyushu. We saw a variety of fish including chuck swimming freely in their natural habitat. The depth of the aquarium allowed us to see different layers of the ocean and observe how different species adapted to different environments. Hello, oi! Unfortunately, we missed the sea animal island zone, but we explored the deep sea of Kyushu zone instead. This zone showcased the fascinating creatures that have adapted to the harsh environment of low water temperature, high water pressure, and low oxygen. We were amazed by the unique adaptations of these deep sea creatures. We also encountered adorable Finland purposes. These playful creatures are native to northern Kyushu and were a delight to watch. At the Information Square Umino Tane Zone, we stopped for lunch here at the Rayleigh restaurant, which offered a unique view of the marine theater. Where's the dolphin? Wow! We could see dolphins performing the show from a different perspective. At the end of the corner, there was a penguin section. We enjoyed watching these adorable creatures waddle around and swim in their enclosure. On the second floor, we were mesmerized by the colorful jellyfish. In the jellyfish of Kyushu Zone, the jellyfish were displayed in a variety of tanks, creating a stunning and relaxing atmosphere. The Amami Coral Reef Zone transported us to the south of Kyushu, where we saw a vibrant underwater world filled with colorful corals and fishes. The sunlight filtering through the water created a beautiful and diverse ecosystem. Stand up! <laughs> wow! Wow! Can you see? Is the shirt wet? Wow. Okay. Here, here, here. Uh, 
Our final stop was the sea otter pool, where we observed these playful creatures swimming and interacting with aquarists. We were lucky enough to see them floating, diving, eating and playing. Sea otters are rare in Japan, so it was a special opportunity to see them up close. After leaving the aquarium, we returned our rental cars and did some souvenir shopping at Hakata Station. For dinner, we planned to go to a Yaginiko restaurant. Google said it would take around 15 minutes by walk to the first restaurant. Since it wasn't far, we decided to enjoy the night walk with enthusiasm. As we wandered through the streets, we couldn't find the restaurant despite following Google Maps. We asked around, but no one seemed to know where it was. After half an hour of searching, the kids were starting to get tired, and we decided to change our plan. Because we were a big group, we worried if one restaurant could accommodate all of us. We decided to split into two groups to find two different restaurants and check if they could fit. We hoped that one of them would have a big room for all of us. Luckily, at Rika and Daniel Main Restaurant, they had a big room that could accommodate our entire group. After an hour of searching, we finally met up again at the restaurant and enjoyed a delicious dinner together. <laughs> Our hotel, Nishitesu Grand Hotel, was conveniently located in the city center, making it easy to explore Fukuoka. So we reserved our last day for a shopping day. This morning, we walked to Soweria Plaza to the city bakery bar and burger rubin restaurant for breakfast. Can you introduce me? Uh.
Hi, I am Lucas Susu. Right. Can I use this Marcus, last I sleep well. Can you record me? Okay. Hello, I'm Lucas. Thank you so much for listening to my show. After breakfast, we embark on a shopping adventure. Starting at Iwataya Hon Ten, we wandered through the department store browsing through various shops and boutiques. We eventually made our way to Daimaru, where we continued our shopping spree and enjoyed a luxury lunch. In the evening, we headed to Hakata Robata Fishman, a lively isakaya located in the city center. Isakayas are casual Japanese pubs where you can enjoy a variety of small dishes and drinks. As we enjoyed our meal, we observed the lively atmosphere around us. People were shedding, laughing, and clinking glasses. It was a great opportunity to experience the local culture and socialize with other people. Our North Kyochu adventure was unforgettable from exploring marine life to experiencing local culture. We created lasting memories. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel adventures.